Rocky Mount. I hope you're having a great day. I'm Crystal Dawes with WNCR-TV, and today we're going to be talking about the Explorer Vision Awards, the world's largest K-12 science and technology competitions. Who better to help us with this discussion than America's favorite stand-up scientist, Bill Nye, the science guy. Hello. How are good morning, you? Good morning. Good morning. Fabulous. Good. Bill, is there any way you could tell us a little bit about um, Explorer Vision competition you're attending in Washington? Yeah, it's sponsored by Toshiba. This is our 15th year, 15 years. Wow. Over 230,000 students have gone through this. And the idea, the competition, is to come up with an invention that you think will come into existence in the next 20 years. It's quite a cool oh. thing. So uh, today's winners uh, have this cool idea for um, helping diabetics. Right, you guys? Yes, sir. Or kidney failure. Kidney failure. Kidney, kidney failure. failure. Yeah, wow. kidney failure. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of there's I know a lot of people that have some um, problems with diabetes, kidney problems. So um, we'll get to that in a little. I list. threw in diabetes. It's really a kidney problem, right, you guys? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, so it's, I misspoke there, as we oh, say nowadays. Okay. Um, let's see. I know that you're dealing with a lot of a lot of very smart children. What what about um, the parents of the kids who aren't so motivated? Do you have any ideas that could have um, help them have more fun in science? Go to exploravision.org. Look at a look up all the rules and participate. It's fun. Well, you guys had fun, right? Yes, sir. Nothing yes, but sir. fun. <laughs> so uh, let them tell you about their invention. It's cool. So if you, if you have kids, they can go to explorevision.org and, and get involved with ideas like this. You guys uh, take it. All right. Well, um, what we designed is uh, sorry. What we designed is um, a kidney implant and uh, an injection. And what it does is the same thing as dialysis, and it closely models the natural kidney and you have an implanted artificial kidney and injected molecules that collect toxins and drop them off in the artificial kidney and um, basically it's implanted and then you never have to worry about it again there's no outside maintenance and you have far better quality of life than if you had to go through dialysis do you have a personal um, How about that? reason that you develop this this kidney implant? Um, is there a personal reason, uh, your mother, your father, anybody you know that is suffering that gave you some motivation to do this? Nope. <laughs> You're just that smart, Sorry. huh? You guys had an interest in biology, though, right? Um, we we took of. biology class. Or yeah. the side. <laughs> Did you put it back? <laughs> 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 you guys are just, just so smart like that that you can think of it. Um, I understand that this isn't meant to work you, you said, Bill, that it wasn't meant to work now. It's something you can envision in 20 years. Um, do you think that it Except actually... Except you guys have applied for a patent, haven't you? We yes, have so applied we have. for a provisional patent, which is just so we get a year's... Um, Let me get start. your names, start, guys. Yeah. What are your names? Well, I'm Danny Mullen. I'm Patrick Rivers. And I'm Jonathan Haywood. And how old are you developing all of these massive techniques? What, how old are you? Oh, I'm 18. I'm 17. And I'm 18. And where would you guys be today if you were not here? We would be in our graduation. Yeah. Oh. So they're, they're not at their high school graduation. They're in Washington, D.C. because this award, if I may, is such a big deal. So it's exciting. Absolutely. It's great. What do you win? you win? You win the award. You win a recognition. Is there any kind of savings bonds, college, anything that they're... What's the incentive? Yes, we get a $10,000 savings bond. Each. That's not bad. That's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Um, and you guys are all going to engineering school next year, right? Yes, that's, that's correct. correct. And to what school? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to U uh, the University of South Carolina. I'm going to Clemson. And I'm going to Clemson. So there you go. That's wonderful. You guys seem to really have your lives on track. And um, I can't imagine doing these kinds of things when I was 17. So congratulations to you. Great. It's great. We're gonna, they're going to change the world. I, it's going to be fabulous. Bill, let me ask you this. Do you think, think that kids today are smarter than 10, 15, 20 years ago? Oh, no, no, no. My, oh, no, no, no. My generation was much better. <laughs> we were much smarter than kids today. Yeah, these kids today, they don't know anything about slide rules. Like, no, the, uh, these guys are so comfortable with information technology and the idea that you can shape molecules. You can design not just machines or circuits, but actual molecules. They have a comfort with this that I think is unprecedented. These guys are going to change the world. 
Wow. Well, I, I look forward to seeing more of them. I'm sure this is just the beginning of, of us seeing them on TV, doctors, whatever they choose to do. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of them. So, um, well, thank you very much, Bill. And the students, thank you. And the students, the guys, I hope you have a great time. I'm sorry you missed your graduation, but I'm sure it's well worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, they're they're going to have fun. They're in the big city. It's yeah. going to be wild. Okay, well, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> and thank you, Rocky Mount, for joining us on WNCR-TV News, Views, and Interviews. We'll see you next time.